you get mentioned in my name. We don't like what you say. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can suck my dick. All right, here in module nine, we're gonna talk about bringing the clients on board. And a brief warning, do not blame me if this client acquisition method is not sexy. Do not blame me if this is not new, quote unquote new, right? Because everybody wants something new that they've never seen before. And do not blame me if this is not secret. It's simple, it's easy, it works. And when you set it up, all you literally, you literally have to sit here and wait for your phone to ring. I mean. That's pretty se That's pretty sexy to me. Okay, so like I said before, when you get your data, um, you're going to hand it off to a VA, and you're going to get them to compile all of the Facebook groups or the Facebook pages for those businesses that meet your criteria. So you know, let's say that half of them have a Facebook page or something like that. Well, you saw how many results that we had, and just in the Charleston area alone, we had. Um, uh, 680 I think results that directly matched exactly what we needed uh, as far as like the kind of businesses that's qualified can pay for us or actively advertising they get the benefits of advertising and stuff like that and then nationwide just for carpet cleaners we had like 3300 3800 something like that so even if half of them only half of them have Facebook pages or a quarter of them have Facebook pages we can just mine that list for you know several months and get all that we need as far as clients and stuff like that so this is exactly how I get clients I really wish I could tell you that it was more sexy but it is not remember the name of using this as example the Magnolias remember we got the owner's name his name is TJ I send TJ actually I don't send it someone else sends it and we'll talk about that in just a moment but I send TJ a message. Hey, TJ, it's Robert. How have you been? I'm messaging you on Facebook. <clears throat> Let me start over. Hey, TJ, it's Robert. How have you been? I'm messaging you on your Facebook page instead of calling because it's about the customer acquisition method that we're doing via Facebook. We're getting a ton of customers every time we run it, and I knew you were interested. Give me a call back at 555-555, blah, 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 so we can set it up for you, Robert. Okay? Why does this work so well? okay we're using the owner's name even if the owner doesn't check it because if it looks like it's going to the owner the person does check it might get it over to the owner or at least say hey there was a message for you on the Facebook page um, I think you should go check it out or whatever did you see that or whatever uh, that's happened a lot of times uh, with me they, like they'll have like a dedicated person that does the Facebook page but if it looks like it was supposed to go to the owner which that does that looks like a personal message hey TJ how's Robert I'm I'm messaging you instead of calling you so it looks like it like they're they make them assume that you know I did have TJ's number but I'm messaging Facebook because we're talking about Facebook stuff right also it sounds personal you know, there's no, that sounds very, very personal. How have you been? I'm messaging you on Facebook instead of uh, calling. Hey, give me a call back here and we can set it up for you. Um, it makes it sound like we've already talked about this before, which will only exacerbate, you know, them. If, if it's not actually TJ checking it or whatever, that message is likely to get over to them. Now, I don't use my Facebook account for this right I set up an alternate account that looks just like my Facebook uh, my my normal Facebook that I've had for you know over uh, gosh like nine years now um, it, you know it's got real friends and, and stuff on it as well people even post my wall and stuff like that but I only use it to give it to hand it off to a VA and all they do is sit there and you know paste that in they have to put the real owner's name in there um, and they have to put the real business name in there whatever uh, but other than that they sit there and message them all day now why don't I use my real account well first of all I'm not gonna give my real account over to hand it over to a VA right uh, second of all yes you know it's never happened to us before uh, but I'm not gonna tell you that you know uh, Facebook's not going to frown on you. I, I don't think I've ever been, it doesn't say if I've been reported from spam. I don't, I haven't seen any spam reports and I haven't gotten any warnings or anything like that. Now, is this spam? Hmm. 
you know what? I I couldn't tell you. Because I'd like to say no. Um, however, I am a realistic person, and it's an unsolicited message. However, it's not going to their personal account. It is about their business. It's going straight to their Facebook fan page uh, uh, thing. So they have to be on their Facebook fan page. And if you have any Facebook pages and you click over and you're using at Facebook as this page or whatever, and you get messages, you check those, right? Most people do, um, unless it's like one of those big million um, Facebook pan, fan pages that are more general and stuff like that. But if it's your business, it, it gets checked, right? So that's why it gets, it, this works really, really well. We're not, you know, uh, messaging their personal accounts about their business and stuff like that. So um, I'm going to get people that are going to say that's not going to work. Right. And all I can say is, okay, <laughs> I mean, say it's not going to work all you want to, but it's working for us right now. Uh, and it's working very, very well. And if anybody were to get mad or something like that about us messaging them on there, like if anybody's going to get mad about that message right there, then they've, you know, that's, that, I mean, they've got more problems to worry about than, you know, deleting a message from us. Um, I will admit it's a numbers game, but the best part is, is that you're not going to be doing this yourself. Seriously, go get a VA to do this for you. Uh, it doesn't cost much. Uh, and it's so easy to train them to do and they can get started right away. They can be in any country you want them to be in, right? Um, I think when I put $4 there, that's a little bit less. I think we play between 6 and $8 an hour, right? So, but we literally sit there and wait for the phone to ring. Well, not wait, but I mean, we just kick back. Like, we don't have to do anything. This is all in place. It takes me 10 minutes to go in and prospect with what I, like how I told you to do it. And then that's it. I send it over to a VA that knows what they're doing. I mean, it literally takes a couple of hours maybe to train a VA. Uh, and, and then it's done. You sit back and wait for phone calls. It's really easy to do. Now, when they call, because remember, this is the only exposure that this person's had to you. Okay. So they're going to be like, hmm, you know, well, I'll call. This is what we wrote up. This is what now, obviously, we're not sitting there reading off of a script, but this is the basic gist of how we control that conversation and get them on board. Uh, so like when I answer the phone, of course, we use line two. So I know that it's a company call coming in. Uh, <clears throat> I don't personally answer the phone that much anymore. It's usually my account reps, but sometimes if like one of my account reps out or something like that, I will still answer the phone. Um, and I answer the phone just like this, X, Y, Z digital agency, Robert speaking, how may I help you? All right. And then they'll be like, yeah, um, I had this message from, I guess it was you, Robert, uh, you know, on Facebook. So what is this about? I like, oh yeah. So what we're doing is we're reaching out to a few businesses in Charleston, uh, to test out our Facebook promotion uh, method. We're getting a ton of new customers, uh, within just a couple of days using it, but Here's where our problem is. We need responsible businesses to give this traffic to so we know that these customers are taken care of, right? Like, so the first thing I'm doing is I'm putting the burden of responsibility on him. Are you responsible enough to take these customers that I have to give away, right? And that's why that works so well. And if you notice, there's two different ways here. We're reaching out to a few customers in whatever your location, Charleston, South Carolina, San Diego, California, wherever, or the niche business. So I, yeah, we're looking for, uh, we're reaching out to a few businesses in, uh, you know, for carpet cleaners, right? We're reaching out to a few carpet cleaners or whatever to test our Facebook promotion method. We're getting a ton of new customers within days using it. And we need to be, we need responsible businesses to give this traffic to, so we know that these customers are taken care of. And then I ask them, who am I speaking with? Right. So um, they'll be like, I, I don't really get it. You're using you're getting customers through Facebook. And 
that's when you kind of explain a little bit. Yeah. So what we do is we're a marketing agency or a digital agency running promotions that get custom companies more business. Now we've been able to get a lot of people in the Charleston area using this so much so that we need good businesses in Charleston to send them to, right? Again, I'm putting the burden on them. And I'm kind of dangling a little carrot and saying, look, I've got, I'm not trying to sell them on anything. I'm saying, I got this carrot here. Now you're going to have to reach out and grab it. Uh, and here's the, the, the niche specific one. Yeah, we specialize in running promotions that get companies more business. We've been able to get a lot of carpet cleaner customers nationwide using this method. So much so that we need good carpet cleaning businesses uh, to treat them right, right? So obviously at some point now, it's not going to go exactly like this, but at some point they'd be like, so what's the cost, right? So all I say is, hey, since we put a dedicated person on your campaign, it's just a uh, $199 startup cost and there's a small daily cost associated with the cost of the ads. The giveaway you choose, of course, and we'll cover all that with you uh, if you want to go forward from here. And that's it. I'm not asking him for anything. I'm not selling him. I, I guess I'm selling him. All I'm telling him is exactly what I'm doing and exactly why I need him, right? Because we do need businesses and I need businesses to take care of these customers. Okay. Um, I do not like selling. Um, I think that I've, I've said this enough times to where if you're, if you're listening to this course, you probably know me well enough to where you know that I do not, I'm not Mr. Sam Sneed, the used car salesman kind of guy. I can never be that kind of person. I, my perfect interaction is where I tell a person, look, this is what I have. This is what it'll do for you. This is how much it costs. And that's why I boil these scripts down to as much and as close to that as absolutely possible, right? So what you're going to need from them is admin access to their Facebook page. You're going to have to cover the giveaway, right? And we're going to talk about the next slide, the coupon details, right? Because the rumor in our example, the giveaway is the, the, the um, dinner for two plus a house bottle of wine. And then we had the coupon details that enabled you know, new customers to come in the door, give them a little spiff to come in the door of 10% off of any entree or something like that, right? Um, and then cover your cost of a, a hundred, uh, 199 plus the ad spend. And we're gonna talk about that a little bit more in a moment. So, some examples. If you get a dentist on board, um, they can offer a free cleaning. Uh, if it's a house cleaning business, they can offer a free cleaning, right? Except a little bit different. They're cleaning your house. A carpet business, a uh, free three-room cleaning, right? A uh, restaurant, free dinner for two. A bakery, a free dozen donuts. Oil change place, free oil change. Now, almost none of those are clients that I would ordinarily go to, right? But Robert, I was told not to mess around with businesses with low profits per customer. Yeah, and I, I, I might have been the one to tell you that. But that's the beauty of this is because it's so easy. This method makes getting new customers for these people so easy and getting them publicity on Facebook so easy. Plus, we debated a lot on offering this service absolutely free because I knew how easy it is to get new customers in the door for them. Since the results are so dramatic and so quick, I seriously considered this because it's not the $199. That's not what I'm after. The $199, I couldn't give a shit about. I mean, yeah, it's nice, right? But that's really just taking care of my staff costs to, to tell you the truth. And what it really is, is it shows me that they've got a little bit of skin in the game to play because I know that this method, I can get them new customers I can get them a lot more publicity and get them reaching farther than they ever would have thought, you know, they, they could have done by themselves. And I can do it very, 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 very quickly, dramatically quickly, right? What I'm after is the long game, right? After a week or two weeks or maybe three weeks of doing these uh, uh, these promotions, these giveaways for them, calling them up and saying, yo, you know, you see uh, how many people are using a coupon? Did you see 
how many likes you have do you see like all the activity on your Facebook how much is your phone ringing off the hook and people are like hell yeah I love this you know what I mean I have not had a single person not be ecstatic about the results right away and of course and as we'll talk about in the next module that's exactly when you say yes and did you know that we also offered this 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 and this sign them up for a recurring see I don't sign people up for a recurring right off the bat because you don't get married right off the first date but this is one hell of a first date right so we went on a first date you know they really really loved us and we immediately after that they were dragging us off to Vegas to elope with them so because this is so easy to show your client you know what you're doing you want to hit a grand slam for them right away and this is exactly what it's doing uh, which makes them want more services almost immediately now so but in the end like I said I decided that a low front-end price 199 if you want to do it for a hundred that's fine if you want to do it for 399 that's fine right we'd settled on $199 through the very 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 scientific testing method of saying let's charge $199 let's do it all right cool like we wanted to be a no-brainer for them because if we only charge like 40 bucks or something stupid like that it'd be like uh you know you can't do that but we didn't want to go over like $300 so we just was like $199 sounds good but in the end, I decided a low front end price was the way to go. After all, I don't want to waste my time with freebie seekers. You know, the last thing you want to do is run a campaign for somebody and be like, get them on this business, and then they stiff you, right? They don't, they don't do anything for you. Uh, in my opinion, they need to have some skin in the game uh, to play. Now, here's one thing I want to point out. If you're brand new, you've never done anything for any clients before, and you know you just absolutely want a testimonial or something like that I mean you don't need it but I guess you could do it for free for somebody for a testimonial I wouldn't but that's if I had to like that's what I would do but there's no way you can't ask for $199 there's no shortage of businesses that'll pay what amounts to one-third of this month's light bill if even a third to have new customers and publicity almost immediately right so what you're going to do is you're going to explain that you're going to start off with two or three ads, right, for $5 a day to test the best response. What we do is we start out at a very low daily budget, like $5, make sure we're properly optimized, and then work up to a number that you feel comfortable with. For example, for about $20 a day in ad spend, you can expect to see about, about 1,000 locals to see your ad per day. Most people are flabbergasted by that. They're like, holy shit, really? A thousand people? Like, yeah. You know? So, some rough guidelines for the giveaways. Be absolutely, you know, 100% feel free to, you know, not go by this. This is basically a very rough guideline. We've had people that have drawings for, you know, uh, items that are well over $100 that want to do them like three times a week. We've had people that, you know, have them for $20 and want to do them once a week. You know what I mean? And in the end, it's all up to the customer. Okay. So, but as a very, very rough rule of thumb, uh, one drawing per day for items $50 or less, two drawings per week, uh, for between 50 and 100 dollars by the way one drawing per day that's monday through friday i don't mess with weekends and stuff not enough sharing going on two drawings per week for between 50 and 100 dollars and if it's over 100 dollars then one drawing per week and that's very rough right you can i mean rules are made to be broken especially that one uh since smaller giveaways are more frequent sometimes it's better to do more um, smaller ones than like one big thing and most people think like the bigger the the prize is the more popular it's gonna be or whatever but not always you know you get more chances you get more giveaways going with smaller but larger giveaways creates more anticipation and drama and a lot more shares and stuff like that so um, Try it both ways. I mean, seriously, test both for all clients that it's possible to do with. You can't really do it with dentists because, like, or, or somebody with like, like high end because, like, they don't have anything that's small. And in like a bakery, they don't have anything that's big. So for not all clients, you're going to be able to do it with uh, referrals. 
once you do this for somebody once, they're going to want to do it again. Okay. And that's when you get on the phone with them and be like, yo, yeah. You know, if you bring in three paying referrals, uh, your next contest, including the ad spend, is totally free. Right. So then you want to, you know, step away from them if you're talking to them in person because they're breaking their neck to refer more clients to you. And that's when, if you watch the video uh, where I was talking about when I introduced you to Project X, like like our referral business, like 80% of our new clients are referring people. And they're not just referring one, they're referring three, four, six, nine people coming in. Our referral business is through the roof doing this because such a quick turnaround they're getting such dramatic results and then now they can get them for free hell yeah they're telling everybody about it so i'll see you in module 10